All right guys, so just to catch you guys up on what's going on because I've kind of blasted ahead, so to speak. I can't hear anything right now because um, I've been grinding without uh, these earphones in and uh, I finally put them back in because my ears are just, they're ringing to no end. So this is what, this is what we got done so far. So we shaved that completely and um, this part of it actually came out. So I actually uh, glued it back in and pounded it back in so that it would be nice and sealed. Also put a little bit of my own touch right there. HDR for hammer down restorations coming soon. And then now I am going to be using this guideline to cut away the bell housing. And then I'm going to then place the adapter, which is right here. Once I get done with this cut, all of this access is gonna be uh, coming out. That's where the lines are gonna have to go for the slave cylinder. So we're not in too bad of shape, but I'm gonna keep going. cut and hopefully get it mocked up so you guys can see exactly how it's going to look. Very excited and then thank you again to Autosports Engineering for this kit. Getting everything I needed for this swap. Being able to shift gears is going to be so worth it. I've been waiting so long for this to happen. So now we're going to take this out and we're going to see if we can line the adapter plate up and make sure that we have enough room on this and I'm also going to grind these edges down so they're not sharp. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we finally uh, had this almost cut, my battery died, so I had to go ahead and charge it, but we have one more full battery left, so we'll be able to cut this out. I'm hoping with this big cut and this big cut, that will fit flush in here, and also, we have a special guest. What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> so fun, fun fact, this guy, Ronnie, he's been uh, practicing, oh, 19 years 19 almost, years. yeah, almost, almost 20 years mm -hmm. to, for this moment, because uh, he wants to aspire to be a uh, Volkswagen YouTube. <laughs> no, Honestly, bro, I got the hair going already. Uh, you know, I'm growing out the hair. The long locks, the, the long, long, you know. He's actually going to be helping with this. So I finally got the transmission bell housing cut. I'm basically trying to go for like a very slim look, I guess is the best way of saying it. I'm just trying to not cut the whole bell housing off because I want to see if it's possible. I might have to trim a little bit more because I don't think the bell housing is going to fit correctly. What I do want to get done right now is I want to put the adapter plate on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some FIPG from Toyota, because you know, you have to have a little bit of Toyota on your uh, Nissan transmission. And um, I also have this front gasket, the part number right there. Big thanks to Autosport Engineering. Um, they, they do give you some hardware. It's countersunk holes so that the hardware will fit right in it. Um, you do have these long ones and then you have two short ones right here 
where the hydraulic lines are going to come out of the throttle bearing. Alright, so we got some blue thread locker. So the difference that I kind of go by with when to use blue and when to use red thread locker is blue is going to be a lot easier to take out if you ever do. Um, and if the bolts aren't actually moving, say a CV axle or a transmission a drive line bolt, uh, Drive line bolts, you really don't have to, but CV axles is almost a must. We use red lock type because it is spinning and you don't want that bolt to back out. With these bolts, because they're not really spinning, they're just trying to hold it together, uh, hold the adapter plate with the bell housing together. Blue light traps, the lock tight is the way to go. This plate actually says, so it says plate is 30 pounds, I believe, 30 pounds of torque, and then the bell housing is 40 pounds of torque. So. Really cool that it includes those. And the bottom side is the most important part because that's where the oil kind of sits. Because if you remember from when we took the transmission apart, which if you haven't, I will have a link to that in the at the end of the video. Basically, there was uh, four bolts that our TV was uh, put on and that's because it wanted to seal those bolts up so that the oil didn't come through. So now that that is where we want it to be. Alright. Alright. So you just need a little bit on each thread. So now that that's all tight, hand tight, now we're going to go ahead and put it on Quinn Torque Converter. I wanted to share with you guys really quick. This is the only thing that I am not really too excited about. It kind of sucked that this happened. Basically, I didn't have the right tool for these uh, Allen bolts, these hex bolts. Um, so I decided to use something that might fit and not did fit, if that makes sense. Basically, if you can see, this bolt right here, um, I did strip it out, unfortunately. Um, I didn't strip it all the way, I just stripped it out enough. Uh, all the other bolts except for this one and this one were um, fine. The, all, uh, the three others were stripped out, um, but the most significant thing about this one on the bottom is that this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, all four of those are the bolts that make sure that none of the oil comes out. I was able to acquire a an H5, a quarter inch. I used a long one just because I had to hammer it in to the actual uh, bolt because there's no way it was going to sit properly because it was so uh, stripped out. Um, quick tip for you guys though, if you ever are using Loctite and you need to take something out, red Loctite I'm not entirely sure of, but I know for sure blue Loctite, this works where if you take a heating element, um, usually a butane torch, if you are not comfortable using this by yourself, please have adult supervision and don't burn down your house or burn yourself. This will basically transfer the heat down to the uh, Loctite and it will heat the Loctite up. What that's going to do in turn is it's going to loosen the grip of the Loctite and it's going to help you turn the bolt. As soon as it cools down though, that Loctite is going to go back to being solidified so you don't have to worry about it coming or backing out so to speak. Update, we did get the adapter plate on. I think I'm going to address the bell housing now. So I wanted to basically have 
my bell housing look more OEM where the bell housing actually connected to the transmission bell housing on the automatic transmission I still think it's going to work I just don't think it's going to look as nice because the whole bottom of the bell housing is open as you can see because it widens out quite a lot this adapter is actually the newer adapter the key difference if you see on their YouTube video the first one that they have was skinnier and it didn't have as defined of a channel for your throw out bearing to sit in this one however is updated. There was a lot of different opinions on the forums about whether to use the kit or whether not to. A lot of people said it was a really crappy kit, um, but for the affordability of the kit, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. But my goal was to make it look a lot cleaner. Why is my nose always itch so bad when I'm filming? A lot of other people would cut the bell housing completely off. Not that it looks better now because I Definitely didn't take measurements when I cut this thing at all. I kind of just went ham on it, so to speak. So I guess the next step now is going to be to get the throw bearing in, which is going to be held on by two, I think they're H5 bolts as well. We'll see. I think they're a little bit smaller. At the end of the series, I will show you guys every part I used. The only kit I got was the Autosport Engineering kit. Uh, the clutch I got separately, the uh, OEM, Nissan, gasket I got separately, and the hydraulic system I got separately as well. So I will go over all of the things that I got um, in, a, well, in a separate video. So it's a good thing to note, I just uh, noticed this myself, but you get two different bolts. You get one nice little inch uh, shank of no threads and you have one that's fully threaded. So this one I'm going to assume goes on the bottom. I'm also going to go ahead and put blue Loctite on all of these bolts. We're going to go ahead and torque all of them to 40 foot pounds. 40 foot pounds. They're all torqued and this thing is looking like a transmission again. Alright, we just got this episode done and I'm extremely excited for this whole series. Very much looking forward to uh, finishing this and having you guys come along for the ride and I'm just, I'm happy. I'm super happy. I mean, this was all a far out project for me for this car. And now that, um, well, you guys are going to watch me go the, through the whole process. I hope you guys enjoy the series. It has definitely been some trial and error as far as just trying to mount everything correctly and doing it for the first time by myself. Um, I've so far done a lot of things that uh, I never thought I was able to do, if that makes sense. It's hard to be in the moment and kind of be proud when you're constantly trying to, you know, learn things to just get through the process. Um, but I will say that this is change. This is gonna change the whole car, 100%. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. I definitely appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. 
And never forget, guys, always stay positive and stay true to who you are. See you in the next episode. Shoots!